I wrote down some remarks, so hopefully I won't flub them, given I'm a little emotional. But if I do, I want you to know my daughter reviewed it and made a bunch of grammatical corrections, so it's her fault. <laughs> An impressive list of who's who in New Hampshire filled the ballroom at the Radisson Monday morning for the swearing-in ceremony of the Queen City's 11th Chief of Police. Nick Willard admits he wears his heart on his sleeve in every arena. And it's a particular treasure to have my, my dad here. Um, thanks, Bob. It's been a long road, buddy. Father and son share the same unusual first name, Enoch. He's the fifth of eight children. I was going to call him a good, good boy, but he ain't a boy. He's a good man, damn good one. So, said, I'm, I'm proud of him. Father of two, daughter Paige, and Willard's wife Diane, of 29 years, pinned on his new rank. Tears were abundant. To be a leader and to be humble at the same time. So I've learned so much from my dad, and I admire him so much. How fitting today, uh, I get sworn as chief of police, we give out my patrolman number. Patrolman number 74 was issued to one of five new officers also sworn in at Monday's high-profile ceremony. The task before you is to protect the lives and liberties of Manchester's residents and its visitors. It is a tremendous responsibility that needs to be carried out with honor, with integrity, and with compassion. A new assistant chief, Carlo Capano, tapped by Willard for the number two spot, took the oath administered by Mayor Ted Gatsis as well. Chief Willard wore service blues to the ceremony as a statement of solidarity to the 237 officers he will lead. I am wearing this uniform for this ceremony because I'm a reflection of the men and women of the Manchester Police Department who go out every day uh, serving the greater good. In Manchester, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.